Oh, it's recording. Now it is. I'm Hello. Uh, my allergies are bothering me, so that's why my eyes look like this. Um, that's my disclaimer. Uh, we came up with a uh, idea for a new show, um, and this is it. So it's a low budget. Uh, <laughs> In our house. <laughs> that's right. Uh, there are um, two of us, so so far there's two viewers. Um, we'd like to thank our viewers for watching. Um, <laughs> It's a uh, show just about uh, married life, and uh, it's called uh, Mr. Right and Mrs. Always Right. Because I'm always right. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it's her. Yeah, so she asked me to get a, uh, a hat so we could do different topics, uh, and I got a hat. And, she... and we've discussed this. It's not a hat. It's a cap. There's a difference. But it was a Star Wars cap. She did not like that, so then she said, go get a bucket. So I got a bucket. You kind of didn't get a bucket as a bin. <laughs> Here's the bucket, and uh, we have different topics. So each week we'll draw a different topic at random, and we will give our thoughts on um, what we think about it. How's that? Is that okay? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm not glad we got the first one. Uh, the first one is collecting. And uh, the reason why I'm not glad is because if you have three or more of something, it's now a collection. And... She doesn't think I collect things. She calls it... Borderline hoarding <laughs> is more of my idea of what his collecting is. But how does this relate to marriage? And it's doing it again. It's doing it again. <laughs> well, it relates to marriage because if you're living together, then depending on what somebody collects. Like, I used to collect... Your stuff becomes my stuff. And that's an issue, especially <laughs> if... I don't have a lot of stuff, and you've got a buttload of stuff that completely, like, gets everywhere. <laughs> In that case, I must have a lot of handbags that I collect, because I, I have a problem <laughs> with handbags. You do? You don't say that when you need to put your wallet or keys in my handbag. <laughs> What about that? Is that an issue? <laughs> no, but you only need one I'll handbag that. for me to put I'll that in. I'll remember that. <laughs> I, I used to work at a base. Oh, man. That's, um, That's oh, here we go. Hold on. Let it catch up. I'll have to up. edit that out. Catch up. <laughs> we look horrible in slow mo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back, kind of. Okay, we're back. Okay. Um, we'll edit that bad part out. Uh, I used to work at a baseball card store, so I collect baseball cards. So I have several valuable cards that I have collected and they're tucked away nicely in the attic. That's a nice way of putting just baseball cards though. There's some football cards and basketball cards in there too. And, and collectibles. trophies. <laughs> I Papers earned that 10th place checkers trophy. Thank in you. In college <laughs> and whatever award you got back in the day. It's you know, stuffed in there. I can't help it that I was an over. A lot of movie memorabilia. Boxes of cereal from the <laughs> 80s. Uh, Coke bottles. That old. Older than me. <laughs> that means they're collectibles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have cereal that has never been opened. Uh, and bottles that have never been opened. But they're collectibles with people on the cover. Collectibles, but they just sit in bins and collect dust. <laughs> That's all they do. I like to think they collect value on their own. To whom? But they collect yeah. value. <laughs> There's when reasons. we die, that's what Natalie's going to be left with. A bunch of your crap. <laughs> crap. There's your inheritance, Natalie. <laughs> yeah. and she, I mean, heck, if I inherited it, I'd sell it all. Get rid of it. I don't want it. I can see what my legacy is going to be. <laughs> the last house that we lived in was Paul's. I moved in with my husband. And uh, in between that time, we were trying to box everything up for the new house, which we're in now. He, uh, We had an inspector come out and inspect the house, checked in the attic, and wrote fire hazard. <laughs> fire hazard. I wish it would not slow down as I say that because I want this to be a part of our segment. <laughs> yes, it was a That's fire hazard. That's to me hoarding. <laughs> So, fine line between collecting and hoarding. Um, have we come up with a resolution? I just 
deal with it. <laughs> the, I complain about it whenever I have to go up in the attic to get something <laughs> and try and rearrange it. But other than that, if I don't see it, I don't complain. But when I go up there and see it, I complain. It doesn't really do anything other than make my husband blink a thousand times. And I'm a stress blinker. Yeah. I make hate, him feel. I hate going up in the attic. When, no, he hates me going yes. up in the attic. Because <laughs> I know I'm going to get in trouble. So it's a game because as soon as we go up there before she can get to my boxes, I have to find out what I need and go back down real quick so I don't get in trouble. Yeah. So, well, usually he's the one saying, I'll go in the attic <laughs> instead of having me go up there and get it because he knows I'm just going to look at it and just want to burn it all. <laughs> the next time we go in the attic, we'll bring a camera and videotape so therefore you can hear how frustrated she gets <laughs> over my stuff. That might have to be on Periscope. <laughs> yeah. So that's how we deal with it. We just put it in the attic and ignore it until we go up there. And then um, frustration ensues. Well, as long as it's not in my way, it's not a big issue until like, <laughs> I have to get up there. <laughs> then it becomes an issue. So that's how we deal with it. And it's stuck again. Oh, well, it's still going. See, it's just well, yeah, we're frozen. Well, yeah, but are frozen. But are we just going to have a frozen? Is that going to be our photo? <laughs> There you go. That's a great photo. Uh, we wanted you to get to see what we look like still. Me looking frustrated and you just kind of having opt optimistic, you know, I still love you. <laughs> okay, so it's probably pretty accurate. <laughs> so um, we'll go ahead and sign off for uh, episode one. And thank you both for watching. Love our fans. <laughs> Bye.